Welcome back to my channel and this is a video with a little difference. I thought I would share with you guys um, some of the lipsticks that I own that I would recommend um, that are perfect for those who are going back to school or even like work appropriate with some of them having just a pop of color, a little oomph to them to maybe just change the monotony of just neutral lips. So a lot of them are neutrals, pinky tone, coral, browns, and then coupled with pop of color. And these are all drugstore inexpensive lipsticks. I will do a separate section that will deal with some other like high-end ones. And I'll do another video talking about lip glosses. So let's get started. I saw them all by brand. And I, so I thought we'll just start out with the basics. You must have a lip balm with you. That's like a must. I generally use lip balms when I'm at home before when I'm starting to put on makeup, like when I'm moisturizing my face. I would apply lip balm. I also apply lip balm at night. During the day, sometimes I just don't feel like touching up with my lipstick, so I use a lip balm. And I just pulled two from my collection. I do li like the ones from Avon because I recently was gifted, not recently, a couple months back I was gifted one. I enjoy that. I do also enjoy the ones from Cherry Culture. If you've actually tried those, you're going to realize or you would know that they are pretty nice. And I love, there was one in particular from Avon called the Moisture Stick, Moisturizing Stick. It was, it was blue or moisture therapy. Love, love that. I actually had it in a couple of giveaways early this year, even into last year. And those are like my favorite. And then you have just the regular chopsticks, which are actually amazing in themselves. I also like the baby lips. Now, the regular baby lips, I am not too much a fan of. That's the first, first one. Because I felt that at times it was drying up my lips. But I love the Dr. Rescue. And I love these, Um, I think these are like the shock and bold color ones. Uh, I think this one is actually grape. This one is berry, berry bomb. Um, I actually like these. This is new because I am almost finishing two other lip balms that I own. But these work okay. For some people, they say that they dr it dries out your lips. It's not my preference, but I like this one in particular just because it has a tint, a nice, um, and a lot of these in this particular line with the fluorescent colors do have a little tint to them. So it also helps to give a little color to your lips. Your lips are not dead. I also like this for at night and at home. This is the Nivea Lip Butter. Um, this one in particular is Vanilla and Macadamia Kiss. This is amazing. Smells amazing. Super moisturizing. It's one of actually my favorites like of all lip balms. This is really worth the hype that a lot of people give it. And this works really great like under your lipsticks like you apply to your lips. Works really really great. Alright, next we go to one of my favorite brands and that's Jordana. I love Jordana lipsticks. They are so inexpensive and they are great lipsticks to fill your collection. Like if you're now starting up off on lipsticks, Jordana, the quality of Jordana lipsticks are amazing and the price is even more incredible. So if you are in Toronto and Tobago and you shop at Pennywise, you would know that you can get Jordana lipsticks for $6.95 TT dollars which is like a little over one US dollar like 105 a lot of beauty supply stores selling for a dollar dollar 49 and even 199 I think you actually get <laughs> I have actually paid 199 in the US if you check on cherry culture you get them for like 149 and Jordana website you pay 149 so they're like so inexpensive and you can get a huge variety of colors from them I don't think they have a lot in the berry or not berry in the purple line you get berry lipsticks but you just don't get purple lipsticks so that they cover a wide range for everybody. I love Jordana lipsticks and I think they have one of the, I mean, best lipsticks that I've used, including high-end stuff when I compare them because they do, they have, they're pretty, in terms of consistency, they are consistent, but you would get one that you can choose or have one that suits your personality. If you like moisturizing lipsticks, there are some that are super moisturizing. If you like shimmer, you will get shimmer. If you like matte, you will get matte. If you like satin, you'll get satin feel. If you want if you're the person that likes drying lipsticks, they have some that are already drying on the lips and you have to use a lip balm. So they cover a wide range and you there's such a large collection within um within Jordana lipsticks that you can get one to suit you. 
in addition they do have a small matte collection it's relatively small um, it may be about 30 lipsticks 20 to 30 lipsticks but their regular main collection which comes in this packaging it's a silver packaging they are lots and I don't have a count I will try and link their website for you guys to check it out this is what a matte ones look like gold packaging and silver packaging and in addition to that they smell amazing you know some people think that's their downfall but I just absolutely love their scent I can ramble a lot about John Anna but let's get on with the swatches because I really want to do swatches of all of these for you guys so the first one I recommend would be nude this is 128 nude and this one actually has more of a glossy sheer kind of feel to it so you can build its nudeness oh that sounds kind of illegal here yeah, you can bear its nudeness and it's really 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 moisturizing to the lips something that's a little more drying will be natural which is number 28 and this one is a matte color and more a little more peachy toned both actually are more peachy toned uh, nude lipsticks so this is like the drier formula to the nude then sticking I love these two I actually finished one lavender lady already um, this is also a matte, this is number 45, 49, 49, love this, and this is a new one because I did finish one of this already, it is that pinky mauve kind of tinge of li um, lilac in it, gorgeous, gorgeous lip color, oh, smell, this one smells like vanilla, some of the silver package ones, they actually smell of like a bubble gum, kind of bubblicious kind of scent. And the other one here is called Pink Passion, which is really, really an awesome color. Generally, people rave about Pink Passion and Lavender Lady. And this is more of a pinky rose nude color. It is super gorgeous. I don't know anyone who has used this particular lipstick and say they don't like it. It is really, really nice. And then one of the colors that I actually chose for that little flattering pop of color, if you have any school function or work function you want to like oomph up, your day look I mean you can have neutral eyes and wear neutral lips and if you just want to change it a little bit a pop of color lipstick would be number 33 rouge this is a gorgeous red color and this one was recommended to me by Miriam from Miriam does me. so these are my five top Jordana picks I know I should have spoken about geranium but I just felt that you guys would be like that's too predictable so yeah these are the ones that I picked from Jordana Alright, the next category that I actually have multiple picks from is actually Rimmel. Now, I was going through, jo well, I have a couple from Maybelline, but I was looking at um, Milani. But I know that Milani is so inexpensive in the U.S. However, in turn that, it's like, it's really, ex I find it's expensive compared to um, what it, how easily available it is in the U.S. and the cost of it. So I decided to go to Rommel, which I know is a little more um, less expensive, and I just picked a um, couple from Maybelline, and then the others are like kind of like at random. So for Rommel, I first picked 105, and if you know Rommel, they do have numbers, and this is what it looks like. This is from the Kate Moss collection. It's very, it's a nice nude color. I love, love 105. It's like your nude has slight pink, pink in it, yeah. It just looks very natural and nice. Very <laughs> nice is a relative word, but I really like this one. And then we have another kit. This is 101, which is one of my favorites because it's more pinky toned. And I loved I, my Jordana Superstar lip liner. I finished the first one, but this looks amazing with that particular lip liner. That's the Jordana Superstar lip liner. We use that and Kate Moss 101. Amazing, a nice pinky nude. And the last Rommel that I have here is from, I think this is their, is this their regular line? Yeah, I think this is the regular. I think these are supposed to be matte, or is this the matte one? No, this I think is the regular. I'm not sure which one they class as the reg. I think the red ones are the matte, and these are just the regular Kate Moss. This is in number eight, which is another kind of, um, it is more of a pinky nude where I think the first one, which was one, was it 101? 105. Yeah, it was 105. The first one is more of a brown nude, whereas this one is a pinky nude. So those are my Rommel picks. 
and I know they have an amazing red lipstick and all of that but I just really wanted to share rouge with you guys as my red pick next we have Maybelline I have two three picks from Maybelline first one is this one called my mahogany again this is like these are actually inexpensive my mahogany it's a nice nude and I find that this one is for this can work as a really nice nude for darker skin tone it's a bit sheer so you can build it up and it's super moisturizing so these are like quick on the go you can actually use these without a mirror just apply and head out and they work amazing and the other one is from the nudes collection and this is 945 stormy sahara I picked this up on a whims and I was so happy I did I, a lot of people I did not hear them speak about this particular one but if you like my complexion, this looks gorgeous. It doesn't wash you out as, as a nude. It just really looks natural. Has a nice gloss and sheen to it. Love it. And then I decided to go for a pop of color from the Vivids from Maybelline. And this one is in Hot Plum. I was considering Brazen Berry. And there is, um, what is it, Pink Pop. But I was like, mm, let me go with the kind of fuchsia color, not purple, more fuchsia. And I decided to go with hot plum. And I actually own two hot plum because I love it so much. I was using it a lot and I was afraid to not get it. And I, am, I have one, I think, in my handbag and one that's in my collection. So that is hot plum. I love it. It's a nice fuchsia color. It's not what I'm wearing. This combo is actually my LA Colors lip um liner with my lollipop um not lollipop my gumdrop um the one revlon the butter and gumdrop that's in my project empty so i've been killing this lip but yeah it's very similar so you guys must know i love these kind of lips i actually forgot that i had this one product from this is a maybelline whispers and i picked which cherry on top which is like a nice coral color and I was never really into corals too much until this summer. This is like a sheer, um, these are like pretty sheer, but this one, if you like layer it, it does give you a nice pop of color and it is that kind of peachy, kind of pinky color, which is my preference in the coral line. I prefer to go more pink than more peach and this is just a nice medium. I really like it. It's one of the lip colors that, um, lip color whispers, sorry, that I prefer. Now this is another brand that you can choose a lot of lipsticks from and it's wet and wild but these are the um, mega last which are like the matte formulas. I only pulled two. I could have chosen almost everyone in this collection just like the Giordana and Maybelline. They, these are so inexpensive and they are great buys. First one is 907C which I think is like move out to here, move it out or something like that love 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 this color. It's the perfect mauve color. Oh. I love it. I love it. I love it. I even have a backup of it and I haven't used much in this but it is so opaque that you just need one swipe on your bottom lip and one on the top and you're good to go. Sometimes even one and you are mama like we do and you're good to go. The other color is 913C and I can't even remember what the names are these and this is just like a nude. nude. This is perfect for darker skin tones like if you want that kind of nude. This is like a little vampy nude and I actually kind of use this with um, a pink lip liner just so that it's not too dark on my lips. But this is a really nice nude. I chose this because I felt like darker skin tones can actually appreciate this nude lip color um, also. So all the others are like one one from different brands and beauty supply store kind of brand. First one is Ruan and this one is in Romance. This is like one of the very first Ruan lipsticks that I purchased and I love it. It has a sheen to it but it's a peachy kind of golden sheen. This is very good for mature lips. Um, mature lips. <laughs> How do you class mature lips? For mature individuals, I recommend this to like all my older lady friends who want like a nice peachy lip lipstick it has like a gold sheen to it it's very very gorgeous you do not need a lip gloss 
It reminds me of a MAC lipstick that I somehow I can't remember it. And when I saw, I literally picked up that MAC lipstick in the store. And I was like, oh my gosh, this reminds me of a cheap lipstick that I saw in Pennywise. And I thought initially it was Arista. Looked through Arista and didn't. And then when I was explaining the color to the girl, she pulled out the Rouen set and said, see if you find it here. And I realized that it was Romance. So I love this and I would recommend this. It's like... If you have like really brown, like tan colors on your lid and you apply this on your lips with like a peachy blush, oh my god, it looks so, so gorgeous. Next would be this LA Colors. Um, these are Hydration Plus color series and you can get these at Pennywise or a lot of beauty supply stores. They range for like 150 US if so much like, and I think you can get them for 50 TT dollars. This color is in flush and it was in one of my nudes video where I talk about nudes. It's one of my favorite. Love the scent. Again, these are very creamy, buttery, full of hydration. They are almost like a butter lipstick. So they, if you don't like really moisturizing lipsticks, then this is not going to be for you. But it's very nude, very natural. You can put it on without a mirror and hit the town, uh, hit school, go to work. You're going to look amazing. Then this other one from LA Girl, and these are the cream lipstick, and this one is in fling. And this was also recommended to me by Miriam. It's like a perfect nude. You can apply this without a mirror and look gorgeous again. A lot of these are ones I looked at um, my my first thing in choosing them were like, what can I put on? Well, except the bright colors. What can I put on without using a mirror? Because if you're at school, you generally are you moving between classes. And you want to put on something you really can't dig through your bag so look for a mirror or run to the, the restroom or bathroom to, to apply it you just want to apply because your lips are chapped and you want to head out so that was kind of like one of the the things that I will I was looking for when I would look at when I picked through my collection when I looked through my collection my words I, I'm like so excited I think I'm <laughs> my words are getting ahead of me and the other thing is that if you're at work well for me when I'm at work and I need to just touch up on my lip color I don't always want to have to go and dig for mirror my bag again so I like these then this one is from NYC this is a color no expert last lip color and it's in number 442 bury bury me and I just thought, thought this was a nice kind of vampy a little vampyish now more still but a little on the vampier side it is super gorgeous and these actually do stain your lips and you can pull this off even for you know everyday wear or just like if you have to go out in the night go to the mall you want to vamp up your lips a little make it a little darker this definitely is the color for you and all right so my last pick for like drugstore and expensive is this Milani lipstick now these are the old packaging and if you're in the US you can find these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar um, these were actually clearance out from Milani like two summers ago. I think it was two summers ago, two Christmases ago. And they were going for like less, around one something. Um, I picked up a lot of mine there on sale when they had that sale. But um, I know sometimes if you check Wonderful World, these are also on sale in Wonderful World. So you can definitely check and see if they still have these. And these were really expensive. I think they were going for like $11.00. Nine or eleven dollars, but this one in particular is called Barely There. You guys are supposed to know. I love this. I kill this with my Mac lipstick, the Barely There lipstick. <sighs> love it. Um, oh, love it. This is like a pinky pale nude. It looks gorgeous. It does not wash you out. That's what I super super love with it. This does not wash your lips out it is opaque you apply it it works amazing with a lip liner that's a tad bit darker you look so natural and so beautiful with this this just like enhances your lips it's slightly pinkish so huh, it just brings out your lips so that's my drugstore pick i do have a high-end pick which kind of is more mac lipsticks so look out for that video and then i have the lip glosses with lip balms and those balm stains and those kind of stuff in one video so i hope you guys enjoyed it this was helpful so if i rambled i was like so excited with some of these lipsticks you know i was just going on and on and on and um i hope it was helpful so until my next video bye